Hey everybody, it's Enter the Stars. I wanted to just come to you guys this morning and give you a little hope for the future. And also remind you of sometimes why things aren't going well in our lives. And to also tell you about how we must think for ourselves and relearn everything we were taught. Many times we accept truths that are given to us, not even knowing what we're doing because it's easier that way isn't it we when we are not seeking something and it's just handed to us it creates a comfort zone we become programmed all I did was a simple search on Jesus and pray as you can see here in the King James Bible you can do this with any of the different versions of the Bible and then I want you to compare how Jesus prayed, who was our prime example. And I want you to compare that to how you were taught to pray and the format and setting in which you find yourself praying most of the time. Um, in meals, during meals, before meals, um, in church, in front of many people, uh, praying in front of crowds. And as you can see here, almost every single time that Jesus prayed, he was alone. Almost every single verse, I'm going to repeat that, he was alone. It tells us to go into a dark place to pray. This was the king of the universe, praying alone. He didn't give big prayers in front of crowds of people. And and you don't hear him often praying before a meal although I think there is one reference in here regarding that but I know for me personally growing up in church uh, if I didn't pray before a meal I was made to feel guilty about that let's go through some of these it says then Jesus came to them to play to pray to a place I'm sorry called Gethsemane and said to the disciples, sit here while I go and pray over there. It's alone. Here in Luke, it says, and it happened as he was praying alone that his disciples joined him. And he asked them, saying, who do the crowd say that I am? There's another one. Now it came to pass about eight days after these sayings that he took Peter, John, and James and went up on the mountain to pray on the mountain with a few other people basically alone so as you can see there are many examples of Jesus who that is pray, and he's prayed by himself we'll do a couple more of these and most important of all these scriptures in Matthew Jesus says, And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of streets, that they may be seen by men. Surely I say to you, they have their reward. But when you pray, go into your room. When you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in a secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. So he says, Go into a dark place. Now, other versions of this actually go into a little bit more detail on this dark place where you are to pray. Let's look at the King James, the old King James Version. And in that version, he says, But when you pray, enter into thy closet. And when you have shut the door, pray to thy Father, which is in secret. And, and thy Father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. As you can see, transit, different translations of the Bible give completely different context. One says room, one says closet. Well, the only way to know what this word really means is to look at the root of it. Obviously, these two words mean two completely different things. A closet would indicate a dark place, whereas a room would indicate just some nominal privacy. Okay, 
I submit to you that this word closet, which is the King James Version, which to many is the closest version to the translation, uh, is it the dark place. And this is the stillness that the Bible talks about in many other places that we are try that we must try to reach. We must reach this point of stillness and allow the Holy Spirit and everything around us to come into balance. And this is something that I've done in my life. It's helped me immensely. Quiet time to allow the Holy Spirit to come into balance with our existence and letting that be the will of the Father. And then what happens is all of your life falls into place where it's supposed to be. We don't we no longer push our will and we no longer are affected by the will of the evil one. Well you guys have a blessed day. Take care and be safe.